The FX6, FX3, A7S3 are known amongst many for having two native ISO settings. Let me show you why this is not quite correct and in particular whether the two ISO settings have the same amount of image noise. When we go to Sony's official website, we see that Sony does not officially describe these cameras as having dual native ISOs. This is reserved for professional Sony cameras such as the Venice. In order to be considered a dual native ISO camera, Sony sets high standards, which seems to be that the camera must have comparable noise, dynamic range and colors for both base settings. And when we look at the picture of the FX6, FX3 and comparable alpha cameras, we see with the higher ISO setting there is more noise and the colors have also shifted slightly. In comparison, ISO 12800 has a clearly visible magenta shift. So if possible, I would recommend that you record at the lower base of 800 if the lighting conditions allow it. However, when the light is running low, it is of course advantageous to be able to switch to the second base. This does not mean that the cameras don't have two native ISOs. It just doesn't officially meet Sony's quality standards to refer to them as such. By the way, I prepared a small survey and 43% were of the opinion that ISO 800 and ISO 12800 behave similar when it comes to noise and 57% were of the opinion that ISO 800 is less noisy. Admittedly, only 7 of you took part in the survey at the time of this recording, but it still shows that the opinion and expectations were not as clear. But what if the lighting situation requires ISO 3200 for correct exposure? Should I turn the base ISO up or rather switch to the higher base and use an ND filter? For this, let's look first at the noise and colors. ISO 800 and we basically see hardly any noise. The higher we go with the ISO, the more noise is visible. And here too, the jump from 10,000 to 12,800 is clearly visible just like the slight color shift. From here on the picture becomes more noisy again with increasing the ISO as you probably already expected. In any case I find it amazing how well the colors are preserved. More on that later. Take a look at the color chart. The noise behavior of 12800 seems to be comparable with something between 3200 and 6400. Interestingly, the noise behaves slightly different in brighter areas, as can be seen here in the white background, but also, for example, in the lighter areas of the skin. Here the noise seems to be a little less visible or more inconspicuous, even at ISO 10,000. However, the noise is still more pronounced in the darker areas. Fortunately, the noise that is more visible is the one that can be seen in darker areas. I would therefore be less worried about noise in brighter areas. In the following test, I recorded four more exposures for each ISO. Overexposed by two and four stops each and underexposed by two and four stops. You can see which exposure it is at the bottom in the middle. As you can see the over and under exposure looks quite dramatic. But if I correct the exposure in post you see that the overexposure in particular can be compensated surprisingly well. If there are no dramatically bright or overexposed areas in the image that could burn out we see the advantage of overexposure. The noise behavior is even better. This confirms the statement of many that this camera can be overexposed comparatively well, but you shouldn't overdo it. The more you overexpose, the more highlight details are lost. This test setup does not contain many highlight areas, but this is the correctly exposed ISO 800 clip compared to the 4 stops overexposed ISO 800 clip, which is turned down 4 stops in post. It should be clearly visible that the highlight reflection of the lamp has completely disappeared.
Let's look at underexposure. With a picture that is too dark, it is significantly different. Two stops underexposed already show significantly more noise on the base ISO. Four stops under have more noise than ISO 102400, so I would clearly advise against underexposure. Let's now answer the question from the beginning. After ISO 3200, I would in most cases jump to ISO 12800 and either work with ND or overexpose one to two stops and adjust exposure in post. So the noise will be reduced a little, but be careful, the trick with overexposure helps to reduce noise, but may reduce the visible dynamic range in the highlights. And just a few final words, keep in mind that this is specific to the FX6 and FX3 and also it is specific to certain situations and a whole different camera will behave even more different. New findings or additions can be found in the pinned comment.